Welcome to part two of this series on the factions of the Burning Crusade where I discuss some of the more important information regarding all the factions found in Outlands. Hello everyone, my name is Icosiel, and today we're going to talk about the factions in Shatrath City, the rewards they give, and the fastest way to grind your reputation to Exalted. In this episode, I'm going to talk about your three main factions in the city of Shatrath, which are the Aldor, the Scryers, and the Lower City. Timestamps for this video are provided in the video description below so that you can skip to the information that you need. Let's go ahead and begin with the Aldor. The Aldor are a Jernai faction led by the High Priestess Ishana. This ancient order of priests revere the Nauru who have remained in Outland. Their allegiance is to the Shatar in the rebuilding of Shatrath City and the destruction of the Burning Legion. When you reach Shatrath for the first time, you'll be able to complete a short quest chain from a doll that describes the history and current state of the city, and at its conclusion, you'll be able to choose to ally yourself with the Aldor. Understand that when you do this, you'll become hostile to the Scryers. A reputation of friendly and honored will get you several different profession patterns, plans, and designs for leatherworking, tailoring, blacksmithing, and jewel crafting. Revered and Exalted is where you start to get the more lucrative items, so I will only show you those here. The Aldor Quartermaster is Endarin, and he can be found here in the Aldor Bank. Until you reach the reputation level through Honored, your best bet to gain reputation is by turning in Marks of Kill Jaden to Adyan the Light Warden in the Aldor Rise. Hold off on doing any of the Aldor quests until you reach Honored. A stack of 10 Marks of Kill Jaden will earn you 250 reputation with the Aldor and single Marks will give you 25 rep. The Marks will drop from low ranking Burning Legion mobs, which are mostly the Shadow Council Orcs. You can find good farming spots here in Aukendown in the Bone Waste of Terracar Forest. These turn-ins will also earn you 125 rep for the Shatar faction, which I will discuss in part 3 of this series. If you completed the quest Allegiance to the Aldor, you will need to turn in 220 marks to reach Honored. Blood Elf players start out as unfriendly with the Aldor, and so they will need to turn in 340. Draenei players start out as friendly, and so they only need to turn in 100 marks. At this time, you'll want to complete the Aldor quests that are available to you, many which require you to be of level 68. If you're looking to also boost your rep with the Kurnai or Maghar, you may prefer to kill the orcs at Kilsaro Fortress here in Nagrand, because they drop marks of Kill Jaden and yield 10 rep for the Kurnai or Maghar per kill. To reach Revered and Exalted, you'll want to start finding Marks of Sargeras and Fell Armaments when you reach about level 68. Like the Marks of Kill Jaden, 10 Marks of Sargeras will earn you 250 rep with the Aldor, and Single Marks will earn you 25 rep. You're looking for high-ranking Burning Legion mobs, which are about level 66 or higher, found in the Blades Edge Mountains, Netherstorm, and Shadowmoon Valley. Your best area to farm for this is going to be at Death's Door in the Blades Edge Mountains, because the mobs are quite compact in that area. Each fell armament is going to earn you 350 reputation, and you can turn them in to the High Priestess Ishana at the Aldor Rise. Farming for these items will take about 1,320 Marks of Sargeras, or 95 fell armaments, to go from Honored to Exalted with the Aldor. Fell armaments are exchanged for Holy Dust, which is currency for the purchase of Shoulder Enchants from Inscriber Selin in the Aldor Bank, so hang on to any Holy Dust that you obtain. If you originally chose the Scryers and want to defect to the Aldor, you can, but you're going to be erasing all your reputation with the Scryers in doing so. To make the switch, you need to find Shanir who's in Aldor in the Lower City. She will offer you the quest called Strain Supplies if you're at least level 64. You will be required to turn in 8 Dreadfang Venom Sacks, which will earn you 250 rep with the Aldor. The Venom Sacks drop from the Dreadfang Widows and Lurker Spiders found here in Terracar Forest. 
You will have to repeat this quest until you reach neutral with the Aldor, and that will take approximately 1,344 Venom Sacks because you're starting from hated with them. If you're human, you will only need the very low number of 1,244 Venom Sacks in order to make the switch. The Scryers are a sect of Blood Elves who have broken allegiance from Prince Kael'thas and have instead followed their leader, Borenthal the Seer, in aiding the Naru in Shatrath City. The defection of the Scryers were the single greatest loss to Kael'thas' forces. Now allied to the Naru, they find themselves at odds with the Aldor and compete for power in Shatrath in the Naru's favor. When you reach Shatrath for the first time, you'll be able to complete a short quest chain from a doll that describes the history and current state of the city. At its conclusion, you'll be able to ally yourself with the Scryers. However, when you do this, you'll immediately become hostile with the Aldor. A reputation of friendly and honored will get you several different profession patterns and plans for leatherworking, tailoring, blacksmithing, and jewel crafting. Revered and exalted are where you start to get the more lucrative items, so I will only show you those here. The Scryer's Quartermaster is Enuril, and he can be found here in Shatrath City. Until you reach the reputation level through Honored, your best bet to gain reputation is by turning in Firewing Signets to Magistrix Phelan at the Scryer's tier. Hold off on doing any of the Scryer's quest until after you have reached Honored. A stack of 10 Firewing Signets will earn you 250 reputation from the Scryer's, and single Signets will give you 25 rep each. The signets drop from low-ranking Firewing members found in the northeastern parts of Terracar Forest. This repeatable quest will not be available once you're honored, so continue to gather or purchase signets until you get there. Now that you're honored, you will want to start completing quests for the Scryers. Many of these quests aren't available until you're level 67 or higher though, such as the Long Mana Forge questline in Area 52 that rewards almost 4,000 rep. To start the quest line, you'll need to speak to Arcana Savan, who is in Shatrath and gives you the starter quest called Report to Spymaster Thelodian. Once you're honored, you may begin turning in Sunfury Signets, which drop from high-ranking Sunfury Blood Elves, found in Netherstorm, Shadowmoon Valley, and Tempest Keep instances. Like the Firewing Signets, 10 Sunfury Signets will earn you 250 rep, while single Signets will earn you 25 reputation. It will take approximately 1,320 Sunfury Signets to go from Honored to Exalted, so thankfully you can find some Arcane Tomes. Arcane Tomes will net you 350 rep per item. It's best to save any that you get until you reach Revered and turn them in then. Upon turn in, Arcane Tomes will be exchanged to receive an Arcane Rune, which is currency for the purchase of Shoulder Enchants from Inscriber Veridus in the Scryer's Bank. If you originally chose the Aldor and want to defect to the Scryers, you can, but you're going to be erasing all of your reputation with the Scryers in doing so. To make the switch, you need to find Arcanus Adria, who is a Scryer located in the Lower City. She will offer you the quest called Vorenthal's Vision if you are at least level 65. You will be required to turn in 8 Damp Scale Basilisk Guys, which will earn you 250 rep with the Scryers. The Basilisk Guys drop from the Damp Scale Basilisk and Devourers found in these areas of Terracar Forest. You will have to repeat this quest until you reach neutral with the Scryers, and will take approximately 1,344 Basilisk Eyes because you're starting from a rep of Hated. If you're human, you'll only need 1,244 Basilisk Eyes to make that switch. Refugees who fled the wars in Outland have come to Shatrath to seek shelter. Many people make up the lower city such as Arakoa, Sporlings, and nearly every other race that's found in Outland and is home to many different faiths. Word spreads quickly of those who help these refugees. Their market is abundant with useful NPCs such as profession trainers, recipe vendors, battle masters for arenas and battlegrounds, and more. A reputation of Friendly to Honored is going to allow you to purchase many low-grade rare quality PvP items. 
The more important items you'll want access to are available when you reach revered and exalted, such as high-level jewel crafting designs, trinkets, and epic gear that I will show you here. To purchase their items, you'll need to find their quartermaster, Nakoru, who is located here in the lower city of Shatrath. At the time this video was made, it's unknown if the heroic dungeon keys will be available at Honored or Revered. When TBC launched, you needed to reach Revered, but in patch 2.3, you only needed to reach Honored to purchase the heroic keys. When it comes to the lower city reputation, you're going to want to start your early grinding by running the dungeons Akanai Crypts, Sethic Halls, and Shadow Labyrinth. You will be collecting a lot of Arakoa Feathers, which can be turned in as stacks of 30 to Pekax, who is located here in the lower city of Shatrath. This is a repeatable quest that is available at level 65 called the Outcast Plight. Turning in the Arakoa Feathers will earn you 250 reputation until you reach Honored with the lower city. The mobs in Akanai Crypts will also stop earning you reputation once you reach Honored, and won't yield any rep until you run the dungeon's heroic version. Once you reach Honored, you want to start completing all the lower city quests that are available, and continue to run Sethic Halls, Shadow Labs, and Heroic Akanai Crypts until you reach Exalted. Thank you very much for watching part 2 of my classic Burning Crusade faction reputation series. Stay tuned to this channel for part 3 where I will discuss the other three Shatrath city factions called the Shatar, Shatari Skyguard, and the Shattered Sun Offensive. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Icosial Classic WoW where I post updates on my stream schedule and talk all things classic. If you're interested in more classic content, you can click on any of these links here. Thank you again for watching, and remember to learn the lessons from the Jimmy story and the Aldor, because EverQuest sucks.